Hello, this is your special education virtual content specialist with the 8th grade lesson for Thursday, March 25th. As a reminder, this lesson and all other lessons can be found on Teach Hub. For teachers, we provide the unit, the day, the title of the lesson, the focus question, the learning objective, the standards and objectives. Additionally, we provide instructional and technology guidance for the resources, implementation guidance for each slide in the lesson, guidance for summarizing, guidance for assessment during instruction, and general methods of engaging with students with disabilities and multilingual learners. So 8th graders are going to be working on Unit 7, Exponents and Scientific Notation, Day 15, Combining Bases, Part A. How can terms with the same exponent but different bases be multiplied? So the introduction is going to ask students to evaluate two expressions. The first expression is 5 to the second power times 2 to the third power. So students might write 125 times 8 equals 1,000, or they might just put it in their calculator and easily get 1,000 without this middle step right here. The second expression is 10 to the third power, which is going to be divvied up as 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 1,000, or students might just put in the calculator and say that it's equal to 1,000. And so students should realize, oh, both of these expressions got us to the same value. So in this student-facing activity, students are going to be presented with a table that contains products of expressions with different bases and the same exponent. And students are going to be asked to complete the table to see how we can rewrite them. Students are going to use the expanded column to work out how to combine the factors into a new base. And so to support students with disabilities, the first row has been reconfigured into the rule row, which hopefully will allow students to realize that this is the rule. If not, teachers can go ahead and explain to students that we don't know the value of any of the variables in a to the nth power times b to the nth power. And we don't know how many times we're going to have to expand it to explain the presence of the ellipses in the expanded column. Hence, the rule is going to be A times B to the nth power. And so that's our rule for this particular expression. And this is a strengths-based approach because this activity leverages many of the natural strengths of students with ADHD, LD, and other concrete learners in terms of its use of patterning and support through these previously completed examples. And so um, 5 to the third power times 10 to the third power we saw was 5 times 5 times 5 times 2 times 2 times 2, which equals 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5, which equals 10 times 10 times 10, which equals 10 to the third power. So they had just completed that during the launch. And so students should be able to recognize that pattern and especially when the teacher goes over the rule. And so sample responses for the table include 3 times 3 times 7 times 7 which equals 3 times 7 times 3 times 7 which is 21 to the second power. For the next row, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 
times three times three times three times three, which gets us eventually to six to the fourth power. For the next row, um, you can support students by filling out that expanded. That way they can realize it's simply going to be 3 to the 3rd power times 5 to the 3rd power. The next row, students might work backwards, but the responses include 3 to the 4th power times 10 to the 4th power, which will be 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. And then for the final two rows, students are going to be working with longer patterns. So I also filled in the expanded as the support for students. That way they are not busy typing out all this expanded form and they can simply focus on the exponent. So they should realize that it's going to be two x to the fourth power in parentheses and for the final one 70th to the fourth power so that penultimate row is going to show some misconceptions that students may have about the rule some students might write 2x to the fourth power instead of 2x in parentheses to the 4th power. So, you might want to ask students to explain the difference between 3 times 4 to the 2nd power versus 3 times 4 in parentheses raised to the 2nd power. And students should realize that is not the same, hence the 2x must be in parentheses for that penultimate row to be correct. For this portion of the Explore, students are going to have to justify their reasoning. You can support them with sentence starters. And a sample response would be when the exponents nor the bases are the same, the factors cannot be grouped together evenly and as a result 2 to the third power times 3 to the fourth power cannot be rewritten with a single exponent because regrouping it will leave out a factor of three. And to summarize, students will be asked how can terms with the same exponent but different bases be multiplied. Students can then complete the cooldown when they are done with the summarizing. There is a lesson support video that students can access if they need help. And for additional practice, students can do Khan Academy's Power of Products and Quotients lesson. Have them focus simply on the products since we only focused on products today. For medium level learners, they will be practicing the open up practice problems as provided in the original resource. And for high learners, you can have them do Engage New York's module one lesson three problem set. As with all lessons, here are the resource citations and different programs that you can utilize to help support your learners. If you have any questions, please reach out to your virtual content specialist. Thank you.